Welcome back to In the Kitchen with Grace. Today I am doing a super easy, delicious blueberry peach cobbler in the crock pot. A super easy dessert recipe that works great for take alongs, get togethers, potlucks, and it makes a dessert for dinner just lickety split. All right, so what I love about this recipe is you can interchange the kinds of fruit that you use. Today I'm doing blueberry peach. I am going to use some fresh blueberries and I have some frozen Firestone peach slices and some canned frozen and drained, they're drained, uh, Firestone peach slices. I've got about mm, two and a half cups of peaches and maybe two cups of blueberries that we're going to use today. And as we put this together in our slow cooker, I'm going to uh, the first step is to kind of get your fruit blended together and resting in their glaze, I guess you could call it. The second step is to prepare the, the cobbler breading um, that we're going to actually put as the first layer in our crock pot. Then we put the fruit on and then we pour buttermilk on top. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am smelling this already and I haven't even gotten started. All right, so to prepare your fruit, you're going to put your fruit into a bowl. And again, you can interchange this cherries, strawberries, whatever you want to use, go for it. I personally love the blueberry peach combination. I'm going to sprinkle in my blueberries. If you're using fresh fruit, again, keep an eye out in case there's a rare one that doesn't look so hot. You can pluck it out. Mine look great. Okay, we are going to add in three teaspoons of sugar. tablespoons sorry not teaspoons guys three tablespoons of sugar one two three and then we're going to add in two tablespoons of cornstarch we're baking we're, we're playing with dessert today you got to get a little messy if you're doing a little bacon that is my philosophy Okay, and then we are going to add in one teaspoon of vanilla. Honestly, I'm just going to eyeball it. You know two things about me, y'all, if you've been around for a while. I love the slow cooker and I love vanilla. Okay, we're going to mix this together and chocolate. Chocolate and coffee. Okay. You just kind of want to get that cornstarch, sugar, vanilla mixed into the natural fruit juice and we're going to set that aside and let it sit for a while while we prepare our dough. Right, we are going to start with one and a half cups of flour. I also like this recipe. You don't have to be super precise with the ingredients. Um, we are going to do a third cup of sugar, white sugar. It's about a third. We are going to do one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. This is also a kid friendly recipe. My daughter loves to help in the kitchen and this is something that's super easy for her to help make. So we got one and a half-ish. We're gonna add in one fourth teaspoon of salt. Really, it's just a little more than a pinch. And we're gonna add in, add in a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. This recipe does not call for oats. If you are somebody who likes to do oats, Feel free to add some in. I love to have oats as like a crumbly topping, especially ooh, apple crisp. You guys, I have the best apple crisp recipe. I kid you not. Go check it out. I will link to it. I don't care what season it is. Apple crisp is amazing. But if you want to add in some oats, feel free to do that on top or in with your fruit blend. Totally doesn't matter. I'm gonna give this a quick stir and then we're gonna chop up our butter a little bit and, oh, cinnamon smells amazing. Okay, 
You want to have five tablespoons of cold butter. I'm just gonna kind of pre-measure here. Okay, I like to finely slice it up. I think it comes apart easier and crumbles into your flour mixture better. Just like this, super easy. And then you can just kind of let it, it kind of naturally comes apart in your bowl. And we're gonna mix this in until this whole thing gets a little bit crumbly. I do is I take the remaining three tablespoons of that stick of butter and I slightly melt it in the microwave and then I pour it in and that really helps draw the flour together. And you can see that your butter, it kind of crumbles up into little itty bitty pieces. It gets the flour stuck to it and will kind of come together pretty well. So spray your slow cooker. I like to use a liner with this recipe, especially spray it with your cooking spray. And then you're going to take your flour butter combination here and you're going to press it. Well, kind of press it. I don't want to say like super firmly. You're gonna kind of press it down a little bit so that it fills the whole bottom layer of your crock pot. You wanna save a little bit, maybe about a cup's worth, and we're gonna sprinkle that on the top. And then you're gonna take your fruit mixture, give it another little stir quick, now that the sugar and the vanilla have kind of had a chance to blend in, and then you're gonna pour your fruit right over the top of your cobbler batter and spread your fruit out nicely and then you're going to take your remaining flour mixture put it on top this kind of gives it a little bit of that crumbly if you wanted to use the oats this is where you would use your oats and then we need our buttermilk we're going to do about a third cup of buttermilk Honestly, I tend to use almost half a cup. I always pour half a cup and slowly drizzle. It doesn't require a ton. You wanna slowly drizzle it over the top of your fruit and then it kind of soaks in. Kind of depends. If you're using that smaller, like a taller a crock pot, it doesn't really require as much because there's not as much space to cover. And then it will kind of sink and drizzle down in as it bakes. Mm. Okay, we are gonna put the lid on and I am gonna let this cook on the low heat for about four hours. I'll check it at the two hour mark. You need to cook it on high. You could do it on high for about two and a half to three hours maybe. Um, again, if you're gonna do high, definitely keep a closer eye on it because you don't want it to burn. And we will come back and check on this later, you guys. It's going to make your whole house smell amazing. Oh my goodness, this smells so good. This is going to be a delicious dessert tonight. Thank you all so much. I hope you love this recipe. Thank you for sharing our recipes um, over on Pinterest. We'll see you guys next time.